Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome back to uh, my build guide, part four of the FF03 uh, Tamiya chassis. We're pretty much there now with most of the mechanicals, so we're going to get the uh, the electrics installed, get the wheels on, and get it tested. So let's crack on with it. The first thing we're going to do is step 28, which is going to be attaching the motor. So this kit comes with a Johnson motor, which is rather unusual. Um, most Tamiyas come with uh, the Mabuchi. But anyway, uh, we're going to fit this one. So we need to push the motor through and then we've got to get the holes lined up in these slots. Like so. And then there are two cap screws that have got to go which are VC3s. They're just 6mm cap screws. Like so. Um, with a washer on each. So uh, just nip these up very lightly at first because we need to be able to move the motor to adjust the gap between the pinion and the spur. So the next thing we need to do is get the pinion and put that in place. Interestingly this is a 26 tooth pinion and I don't know if you can see there but it's not your normal bright aluminium. I think this is a fluorine coated or fluorine coated anyway hard coated aluminium pinion which should last a bit longer with a bit of luck so we'll just get this in place I've already put the grub screw in so line it up so it's nice and central with the spur gear so they're meshing together evenly and give that a nip up and now as it does say in the diagram I'll just show you there you need to um, allow some clearance so don't push this the motor in all the way so it's rammed into the uh, the teeth of the the spur gear just make sure there's a little bit of play like so so now I'm just going to nip it up so once you've nipped those uh, cap screws up um, we need to put on part IO which is just the dust cover um, it doesn't say to put any grease on this but I've put a little bit of the ceramic grease onto these gears um, and this cover doesn't fit that well to be honest with you there's a bit of a gap around the side here so I'm going to put some tape over that just to make sure I don't get any dust and dirt in there that's going to wear away and make some grinding paste with that little bit of grease I've put on so we're just going to secure this cover on with a screw in there and a screw in there which are just the small 3x6 ok like I say um, it might be worth putting if you do one of these to put some tape on there as well because I can get my fingernail into that gap so just worth sealing that up really uh, that's step 28 finished step 29 is checking your RC equipment so you need to connect everything up and centre up your servo um, I've already done that and then there's fitting the servo saver here which again the parts Q4 and Q5 are dependent on the servo that you've got um, it's simply a matter of getting the right components Q405 at the back fit that onto the servo you've got the plastic ring and then you've got the actual arm itself held on by whichever screw fits your servo and it does say uh, mount the arm at 10 degrees to the left um, of straight up um, I've done that as best I can with the splines that you've got it's somewhere near I can adjust that out with the actual steering rod itself okay so step 30 as you can see I've already done all of this it's very simple it's just a case of fitting on parts K3 and 4 with the right spacer so it's dependent on the server you've got there's a spacer there it, just to make sure that this doesn't hit the body uh, sorry the body of the chassis itself uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute when we come to fit that in um, fitting the transponder here I'm not racing so I'm not going to put that part on so you also have to make up the steering rod you just need to put your ball connectors onto that BA17 32 mil bar and again there's a 17 mil um, gap between the two cups just make sure that's somewhere near I say I'm going to adjust that when we get it onto the car uh, that's step 30 done step 31 we're going to attach the servo and that steering arm so we need to get the chassis back and we need to get 
this part um, which is a B3 it's a very soft plastic very pliable um, I think that's just for protecting the actual body of the servo itself it doesn't actually hold it on um, we need to get the servo mechanism we've got ready and looks like we have to pass the wire through the control wire through the chassis and then we're going to fit the servo on with this place underneath make sure that the holes are going to line up and then that fits through these two holes on the chassis itself with two screws now uh, look carefully at these screws they are again they're the very very flat headed screws and if you can see that they're really really thin heads on these um, it says it's a BC4 and a BC6 so the shorter one goes towards the front of the car and make sure you do put the shorter one in first because um, the rear hole is slotted so we need to get that one positioned and then put the longer of those very flat headed screws into the rear hole so if you're using that transponder stay thing there the screw would screw into that the hole in the actual bracket here is um, bigger than the screw so it won't screw into that itself I'm going to have to put a nut on there to hold that um, so all I need to do now is to put on the steering arm so I need to turn the steering to get this ball connector available pop that on and clip the other end onto the servo arm like so now to finish this step we just need to put this plastic part B10 on the other side again it's very flexible piece of plastic I think this is going to hold the other electronics it just fits into that gap um, and I think it's just, all it's doing is giving us something flat to uh, put the adhesive tape onto so again that's just held on by two countersunk screws these are the tiny little um, silver ones that you get in the kit which are 3b6 so step 32 is attaching all the uh, electrical components onto that piece of plastic we just screwed on um, I've got the ESC at the front double sided tape and you have to double sided tape the on off switch if you can see that there uh, onto the back of your ESC uh, the receiver goes in front and tidy up the wires best you can I've just got a uh, cable tie there and connect up your motor wires make sure you put them through the clip keeps them out of the way and then it's just a matter of putting this aluminium tape which is this stuff over that servo wire that goes through the chassis under the back under the battery tray once you've done that it's on to step 33 and this step is simply putting the tyres with the foams already inside onto the wheels it does show you applying instant cement so I've put my usual rubber type glue in there hopefully they'll hold okay so obviously put your four tyres on straight on to step 34 this is where we're going to start fitting the wheels so we need the wheel hexes and a small pin which is BC11 all we do is remove the R clip that we put in before replace that with the small pin place on the hex and simply put the wheel on with BC10 which is an R-lock nut for the fronts you need to put on the last of your bearings over the axle push it into place and again one of the pins and the hex so when you've got all four wheels on step 35 is getting your urethane bumper just pop it over those posts on the front and then you need part B8 and this looks like it only goes one way on the ridge sticking upwards and then we attach that with those four 3x10 screws 
you only need to really lightly nip these up because um, the plastic you're screwing into is very soft and they spin really easily so don't go mad with those um, we might have to trim this bumper down later but I won't find that out till I get the body on so at the moment I'll leave it as it is trim it down as necessary step 36 is going to be putting the battery posts in which looks like they are a BC13 and we also need that J11 spacer two of so that's your BC13 um, put the spacer on and into this hole here at the rear and then into the hole that's nearest to the ESC at the front okay so see that one there and the one on this side and then you've got the actual strap itself which is a B1 and just pop a battery in for now and just pop in a couple of our clips so it looks like we will be able to change the battery by just taking out the rear of the two clips so finally the last step is just uh, it says attaching the body we haven't got the body finished but just show you that we've get, we get these parts B5 I've never seen these with a, a Tamiya before um, and these are for protecting the body against the split pin so your split pin that goes through the body posts um, does go through these little holes in the little protector and you get four of those and then you can fit those onto the post like so oh well, that's pretty good idea so yeah nice little touch and on that note um, brings us to the completion of the chassis build um, there she is I'm really looking forward to running this I've set it up um, as basically as I can I've got a little bit of towing at the front and I've got a little bit of ne negative camber there are lots of things I can play around with on this to get it to uh, set up exactly how I want but uh, we need to get that first run in and uh, see how she goes first. I hope you've enjoyed the build. I've got one more to come, which is going to be the bodywork. Hope to see you on that. In the meantime, take care. Bye.